Thank you, Indian, for the wonderful introduction and the wonderful hosting in a Sunday morning. Uh, congratulations, Anjana. Your story truly inspired us. Um, and yeah, I really liked that now finding the sixth floor and the eighth floor is not a task for you. That is really amazing. And congratulations, Arjuna. You are a fantastic coach for bringing such an amazing transformation. Um, yeah. So hi, all of you. 248 beautiful people on the call. I'm very happy about the choice you made today of doing something productive, doing some learning something new, right? I'm Tripti. I live in Germany with my best friend and my husband, Vijay. And he's the most happiest person in this call today. I can see him right now. <laughs> uh, my parents have also joined the call. I'm blessed to have them here. I love helping people around the world. I love building meaningful relationships. I love to create impact. I love to build Tripti as a brand. Was I like this before? Absolutely not. I didn't even know what brand building mean. I didn't even know what creating impact mean. Right? So, uh, to give an introduction of me, like I'm like most of you are like, I have always been career focused. Uh, I did my computer science engineering, got the degree, uh, increased my income from six figures to seven figures to eight figures and counting. And after office hours, I usually used to think uh, like where I am going. I'm a good software engineer, no doubt about it. But uh, is this really my passion? Is this what I really want to become in my life? Um, uh, and what happened is usually uh, my happiness in my job usually gets transferred from uh, one manager to another. Like it depends upon a manager. <laughs> so that is the reason I switched uh, like seven companies in eight years of my career. So uh, if I talk about uh, like what happened in the period, right? Uh, like how, like I ended up here, how I'm sitting here in front of you, talking to you today. Uh, it all started five years back. Uh, I was too focused on my job. Health was always taken for granted. Always it used to come last. Um, what happened, uh, like I started noticing that uh, my hair fall has significantly uh, has gone up. I used to see hairs everywhere. I used to notice that I used to uh, notice that I started creating patches on my hair, on my scalp. Uh, yeah. Um, and uh, I immediately went to see the dermatologist because I wanted my hair back. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, I... Uh, like when I went there, I have been informed that I have an autoimmune condition and uh, the name of that condition is alopecia areta. I got depressed due to two reasons. One is I wanted my hair badly to come back because uh, I know like uh, especially for girls, uh, how much hair is important. And for me, it was really, really important. Uh, seeing the patches all over here was not good. Uh, and the second thing is, I'm having a condition which I didn't even know how to pronounce it properly. Right. So, yeah, I was desperate. I uh, uh, like, uh, I went to a uh, back then when I was in Bangalore, I went to a reputed hair clinic in Bangalore. And the doctor said that uh, they have to give me a steroid injection in my scalp uh, to prevent just the spreading of the uh, like of the patches. Uh, it's it's not the cure. Uh, not sure whether the hair will regrow again or not. Uh, but uh, they can prevent us by putting the needle, right? Uh, that scared the hell out of me. Uh, I I really didn't want the uh, needle coming anything on my head. Uh, so yes, I didn't go for that thing. Uh, I tried a lot of things. Uh, I I consulted homeopathy. I did a lot of things in household. 
uh luckily vijay uh, my husband was already volunteering with the community and he spoke in the community about my condition and connected with me uh, with her wellness coach uh reza and his, and her husband dj so um yes um they suggested me uh, the diet changes the supplements the hair care products uh and i followed them religiously for 3 to 4 months uh and yeah it required a lot of patience because the hair growth uh, it's like an autoimmune like your hair uh, growth uh, hormone is is behaving opposite they are thinking that it's a foreign hormone and it's not allowing you to grow right so but following this following wq lifestyle following practicing this i could see that in my patches small small hair were growing that was a kind of hope i continued my program i did it uh, for again for 3 months and my all my patches were gone uh, it it was a delight to see how amazing is for following a healthy lifestyle with healthy nutrition combination can give you right so yes uh, but if i ask myself back then uh, did that made me passionate to become a health coach actually no it took me a while to start my volunteering i connected with a lot of people in the community bhomesh bhumika ankur taru i was amazed by seeing the choices they have in the life right uh, then i came back to germany and uh, i saw people i i saw people having choices here how people do not tag themselves with, to a job how job is only the part of your life and not your life how people relax during weekdays as well but that amazed my mind because i wanted that flexibility in my life as well i wanted that choices in my life as well and it's all because of my husband and the strong conviction of me about my transformation that i started volunteering for this community uh when i came inside the community i had to go through a graduation i graduated well i learned well i practiced well i became a wellness coach with a community uh, I, it took time for me to become a coach but it was an amazing journey uh, uh, like becoming a coach with the community now uh, what helps me keep going uh, is the blessings that i get from my client uh like uh, i had a client uh, she was in a severe pain um she was having piles she called me one uh, like uh, and the first call that i had is uh um every morning when i go to washroom i feel lot of pain pain so please ma'am can you give something can you cure me because it is the pain that i can't even express you right uh so i guided her following all the wq wellness pillars um and in just about 3 months she was completely out of the pain her piles got healed um and it has been since now one year that uh, she's out of the program and leading a very active uh, lifestyle but it's not only that uh, you know what she called me 2 months back and she told me uh so the ma'am i i went to a gurudwara uh, gurudwara is a kind of temple so uh, she went to a gurudwara she she prayed to the god that if any wish that tripti ma'am is having like uh, she wish for me that if any wish that i have that comes to right and that feeling uh that i got after listening to her was just priceless right another client she was not able to fold her legs properly extreme knee pain uh sitting and then standing was a great great challenge for her um after following the program she is now able to do 10k steps apart from the 40 minutes of workout right yeah all strength training and everything uh and lost 10 kgs weight around the program right um uh, another delightful experience i want to share like a month back i went to bangalore and uh, uh 
one of my client she is also my junior in my college uh, so she came uh, from kerala to bangalore just to meet me for one hour i really cherish this beautiful relationships that i am able to build with my clients all these are blessings and relationships that i am able to achieve of being a wq coach if you ask me does being a wq coach is your passion probably no but yes i have found my passion through the way uh and my passion is to create choices in my life so yes i am tripti i love helping people around the globe i love building meaningful relationships i love to create impact i love to build tripti as a brand i love and i'm passionate to create choices in my life and being a wellness coach with wq community allows me to achieve it all thank you all for listening and have a great day ahead back to the host